Hello everybody, this is the Daydreamer with Daydreams and Nightmares, and this is going to be an unboxing video. I need to start out with a little bit of an explanation though before I start doing this. Um, this is a really late unboxing, or it's a re-unboxing, or however you want to look at it. Um, before I got my hands on a camera to be able to do these, I had already received the box that I'm going to show you. Uh, this is actually from August. What I have is the Loot Crate DX from August, which was themed anti-hero. I've already opened this up. Like I said, I had this prior to getting my my uh, camera. And I just want to go through what it is that I got in, in it and uh, let you guys know that I will be getting more of these crates from Loot Crate DX. Although what I'm, I am doing is getting this on a month by month basis based on what the theme is for the month uh, and what are the featured items are in here. What I will do is I will down below uh, leave a link to uh, Loot Crate if you're interested in getting one of these for yourself. Uh, you can use the link that I provide and get five dollars off your first order. It helps you out with your order. It also does help me out. It gives me a credit towards other purchases for me as well. But like I said, I'm going to do this from a uh, month-to-month -month basis. What I didn't do is I did not get the loot box for the month of September. The theme was uh, speed. I figured there would be a lot of die-cast cars and models and uh, motorcycles and ships and things like that that really wasn't kind of my cup of tea. Uh, neither were any of the uh, titles uh, that I think were going to get the uh, vehicles that were going to be in that bunch. So I did not order that for the month. But I will be getting the one for October, uh, which will include uh, things from The Thing, uh, which is one of my favorite horror films. Uh, they will also have The uh, Walking Dead, uh, Scream, and Evil Dead 2. Uh, very good uh, horror movies across the board, so I will be getting the uh, Loot Crate DX. I, I do get the uh, DX rather than the uh, regular version because I want to get more bang for my buck, I guess. If the uh, difference between the two crates is uh, about $20 in price. Uh, well, no, actually, it's even more. This Loot Crate DX is about $50 unless you do it in larger increments. You do the three month, the six month, or the 12 month. Uh, the regular loot crate, I think, if you do the 12 month, it gets all the way down to like $14 a month. So from 14 to 50 uh, or $40, I guess it would be if you do the whole year. Big difference there, but you should get beginning a premier, premium quality item in the box as well. So I will be doing an unboxing in October for that. And I've said enough. Uh, let's get into what is in this loot crate DX for August, which was themed anti-hero. When you open it up, what you will see inside is this. There was some art on the inside of this for Deadpool. Deadpool uh, was one of the uh, themes that was for this month. Uh, also for uh, this month in this box included uh, theme of Preacher and uh, Suicide Squad and Borderlands. The only title I wasn't familiar with because I haven't played the game is uh, is uh, Borderlands, but that was included here as well. But it was enough to get me interested with uh, uh, with the Deadpool and and with the uh, Suicide Squad. Um, pull first thing out here. We have a metal die-cast dead shot that came in the box, which is really kind of cool. I did go see the movie. I did enjoy it. If you look on the back here, you can see all of the uh, different die-cast metal uh, characters from Suicide Squad that you can collect. This one here, like I said, is dead shot. There we go. Set that aside here. 
Next in the box was the Handsome Jack mask. Uh, like I said, I'm not very familiar with Borderlands. This is for, apparently from Borderlands 2. Uh, this does set up on a stand and the stand does light up, which I thought was kind of cool. Good display item. Again, Chronicle Collectibles. Let's see, the next thing we'll pull out of the box here was the Deadpool item, Deadpool Aviator with case. Now, actually, like I said, I've already seen everything that's in here, so a lot of these aren't a surprise to me. I'm, uh, I would do it blind normally, but like I said, I've seen everything that is in here. Um, and future cases, I will do them blind. Um, I thought this was a really cool eyeglass case um, with Deadpool. And inside, you have the aviator glasses that came with it. Problem with these for me is I, I love the case. I can easily use it, but if you notice, I wear glasses. So unless these are prescription, these really fall pretty short for me. Um, so I really don't have a use for these glasses. Um, like I said, I could probably use this, but maybe if I wind up giving this away to somebody at some point in time, um, I probably should go together. But, like I said, it was a cool idea, it was a cool item, and some others may enjoy it. Um, but for me, it uh, just didn't do anything for me, because I can't wear them. Put that over here. Next item in the box was a Suicide Squad belt. And actually, I'm going to take this one out, because there I was... From other unboxings that I've seen of this, if you look very carefully at it, you can see on the belt there's all the different symbols uh, for each of the different characters and, and like Katana and Deadshot and Boomerang and all the other characters actually have all their symbols on here. But it was kind of cool too that they had also on the back to hear that the uh, backside of the uh, belt buckle here can be used as a can opener or a bottle opener as well But I thought that was pretty cool. This is one of the things I actually liked in the box And we'll probably find my find a use for at some point Once again suicide squad belt Put that over here and Next thing in the box Actually one of my favorite things in the box is actually a hardcover paper, uh, well, it'd be trade, I'd say trade paperback, but it's a hardcover book. It is a Preacher. It is uh, the DC Vertigo line, which is actually my favorite line of comic books. It's what got me into comic books was actually DC Vertigo with uh, Hellblazer and with uh, um, Sandman and Swamp Thing are the things that got me interested in comics beyond the superheroes. Uh, these these were great stories that DC Ver Vertigo created. I didn't have a chance to actually get into uh, Preacher. Uh, this was after I had stopped collecting comic books, but this is uh, right up my alley as far as that's concerned. As I understand, this is the first 12... In, in the first 12... Uh, comic books in the series. Here it's book one of Preacher, which has actually turned into a TV show, I believe, on the AMC network, uh, which is the one that does The Walking Dead. And the last item in the bottom of the box here. Oh, no, hold on. I got a couple items in here. We have a print from Deadpool on a cardboard stock. You can see that on the back back here. But Merc with a mouth. There's a chimichanga truck there. I think that's kind of cool. And we have the pin, which is actually not only a pin 
Uh, it's got a magnet clasp on the back side of this, but it is an anti-hero dog tag as well. With the Suicide Squad symbol right over here. Put that over here. And that is everything in the box except for the spoiler magazine. Let's see, we're empty now. But you have this little fold out next level loot, loot crate with showing you everything that's in the box. Your uh, Borderlands light up mask, your aviator goggles from Deadpool, you have your American Amount print, Preacher uh, hardcover book of the uh, book one, which is uh, like I said, the first 12 stories in the Preacher comic book line. You have your Suicide Squad belt and your Deadshot uh, uh, metal die cast figure, and of course, on the back here as well is your dog tag pin for anti-hero which was the theme for the month was everything in the box uh like i said with getting a true mystery box and the reason why like i said don't tend to order this or set a subscription for longer is you don't get a lot of things in the box that you really 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 like and for me that says I, the, the pin was okay um this is kind of a nice little thing to have in the box um, this Suicide Squad belt will get some use from me and the uh, Preacher book are the things that I like out of this box but the rest of it really doesn't really do anything for me um, I've not really I'm, I suppose with these boxes that I've been getting lately I have been um, collecting more toys along the line but had I gone into the store I probably would not have bought this or the Handsome Jack um, uh, light up. I may keep this because it is actually kind of, I said, when it was a light up stamp below it, might be, might be a little nice dis, uh, display item. But other than that, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. If you want to see more from me, uh, subscribe down below and uh, make sure you click like as well. And uh, once again, I'll leave information about Loot Crate. Uh, down below in the description as well and thank you for sitting around and watching me open this box even though it's fairly late in uh, <laughs> been almost two months since it came out but I'll get going on the next box when it comes in and uh, do that blind and hope you enjoy thank you